starting at um, here, we'll do the first finger lime. So this was the first time around where we incorporated the coconut liqueur with the finger limes and put it in the circulator. The second time around, um, we just added it after they were in the circulator. This is for Smurf, right? Yes. Yeah. When you chop these up, are you meant to <laughs> use the um, skins of the limes as well? Yeah, the yeah. skins and everything were in there. It got brought up yesterday that we usually robocoop them, which I don't think there's enough product for the book to robocoop 60 grams or whatever it is, 80 grams. 80 grams. And the second one, that you can taste the Kalani coconut. Like, yeah. It's very pronounced. And then this is the um, Dopia Bavande, but just the coffee portion. It almost seems a, a touch sweet. It does seem a little sweet. I can't I quite tell if it's <laughs> if it's the sugar level's fine with missing bitterness or it just has too much sugar. I it mean, is a little bit sweet. It's usually drier, drier and more bitter. It tastes like chocolate milk a little bit. I feel like it's the bitterness though. Because I think it's usually really like luscious mouthfeel. Yeah, I think it tastes good, but I also like things on the yeah. touch sweeter side. But then my fear would be if someone does mix it too with the milk punch, then it would be completely off because yeah. that itself was really creamy and rich. And, yeah. and I did not I use know. the Citadel gin for this one. Um, I used yeah. the Old Amsterdam, which was at 42 proof, and the Citadel was at 44, so it was the closest thing. When you made this one, is this this? Single portion or the batch? Single. And uh, is there, there's an extra ounce of water in addition to chilling it with ice, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, go for it. That's also the anniversary bottle I was telling you about. Oh, cool. That's the size. Thank you. Cool. Mm. <laughs> so, sorry, the, the difference between these two, it sounds like I need to adjust the wording in the recipe for this, right? Yes. It, Are you looking at it right now? Yeah. Cook all sous vide for 80 um, for 20 it's minutes for strong. an ice bat. Strain through chinois. So after you strain, you then add the flying coconut from, and then wow. the toasted coconut tincture. Was it hard to blend this stuff, or did I make it yeah. large enough? It was kind of hard to blend. If you were to, let's say you're doing this at home, do you think it'd be useful to, say, double the size of it just for blending purposes, or do you think that's wasteful? I think that's wasteful. The yield amount that you want, it's fine because when people like make these things, like I still have an entire like IP bag left of that. Right. So, so cool. I think it's enough. 